So M Y I D. The next, uh, the name, shall I say, of our next presentation, Malaysia National Digital Identity, and the presentation will be carried out by Fang Ming. Fang Ming, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you, Ben. Okay. Well, you look happy, ever ready. Uh, so <laughs> you gotta be for these things. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's a good positive attitude. So your time, all the best. Your time begins now. Brilliant. Now, in 2019, Estonia saved 1,400 working years from the implementation of their national digital identity. Singapore, Nigeria, Australia, and Malaysia are also exploring this. You heard me right. Malaysia is already in the game. Team Fort Ninja today will not be discussing about the viability on NDI. The government and the Rakya don't need to know the benefits because we've been exploring this for the last 20 years. And if you Google articles on the star, you'll find out more. What we need is a clear solution on one thing. How do we increase the utilization of our NDI? Today, Fort Ninja will show you a very clear, conclusive solution on how to increase the adoption rate of our NDI. Here are the Malaysian stories we collected through a survey we did during this My Hackathon process. Uh, what Malaysians had to say. We distilled the stories from feedback we received from Semenanjo, Malaysia and East Malaysia. And here are the reasons why the take up were so low. Silo solutions. The lack of collaboration between the agency means that the Rakyat has to download separate applications for each agency. Security, the lack of trust by the Rakyat on adequacy of the identity that is collected, verified and stored. Transparency, will the Rakyat get control over their identity? Do they allow who they get access to that? In essence, it boils down to one thing, security. Our national digital identity must first and foremost be just that, a secure place. Security equals trust. Now, who's behind the team at Fort Ninja? Our team leader, Jenna, is ex MDEC, where of, as of last week, she was a 40 under 40 finalist, APEC leader in FinTech and RegTech. I come from highly regulated industries in banking, airlines, and insurance. Nabila is ex-Microsoft, where she liaises with governments on public policy. Nicholas and Gavin are our tech team, where Nicholas has 17 years in programming and Gavin in cybersecurity. These are the brands that we work with. And our philosophy at Fort Ninja is this. Let's be very, very clear. Malaysia will get an NDI sooner or later. But whoever implements this needs to have the iron willpower to see security through. This is not a game of my and mine. This is your identity and my identity. This is our lives at stake. We cannot compromise on matters on security, regardless of the authority. Fort Ninja is a cyber security business first. We are not an IT development house that launches new features every month. We deal with cyber security every day. This is the reason we have advisors to help us navigate a winning solution with the respective agencies. Shermaine is head of strategic digital alliances at a local bank. Muzafa, CTO at PNB. Yusri, CEO at ITFIM. Danny, group CEO at GHL. This is our solution, an integrated facial verified web application that pulls data from multiple agencies, all of them actually, whose primary focus is on security. Your face will be the last password you ever need. Our solution to this is to maximize the infrastructure and resources that we have by digitizing them and securing it with the latest tech. How is our tech different from existing solutions? Enhanced biometric security, fraud detection tech, corporate grade infrastructure security, transaction traceability, user granted access authority. These are the five points that exactly represents what the Rakyat wants. A digital identity technology that first and foremost is secure and reliable. Our corporate partners are Jumio, Microsoft, IP88, and GHL. We are also in talks with Malaysia's largest logistics company by distribution and an e-wallet provider. Here you see the deployment plan and the future roadmap. We are ready to start collaborations with existing agencies first. Eventually, once matter relating to security has stabilized, we have the option to integrate with other industry players, including the winners at this My Hackathon. What are the limitations of this solution? Two things. One, the success is contingent on the backing of four government agencies, JPN, JPJ, 
LHDN and Kementerian Pendidikan Malaysia. The second one is it's dependent on the transparency and meritocracy of government deals as required by the Rakyat in the survey of trust. We believe that this is where Cradle, Mosti and Mampu will be instrumental in bridging that gap with us. Thank you very much. And this is our presentation. Fantastic job, Fan Ming, on time. Okay, with no seconds to spare. Good job. I'd now like to invite Juliana to ask one or two questions. Hi, can, can you uh, uh, tell us more about the deployment just now? I think you just keep, I mean, it was like probably a few seconds. So maybe you, you explain further on that. Sure, sure. There's three phases to our deployment plan, which will span 18 months if we want to go to the full field side of it. Phase one is where we look at the authentication of the API. So we serve as the front end of uh, uh, government agencies and we, the, the data still remains with all these different agencies. Um, the second bit would be the integration part. This is where the usability increases and the GDP growth between agencies when they share that information, less mistakes happen and all that. Not only that, we will try to also come up with a uh, uh, focus group that focus on OKU because we're interested. Uh, if you look at our plans, we have an OKU button uh, on top and we are looking to experiment with a, a small group first uh, in one location first, but diversified background. Uh, that's where Microsoft comes in because they are focusing on uh, usability with um, the possible groups of those who may not be able to maybe see here. Um, and so Microsoft is our tech partner and they're very experienced in this. Thank you. Thanks, Jenna. Okay, Juliet. Juliana, are you okay? Yes, thanks. Okay, okay. Next question, I'd like to invite Aslin for from the judges. I actually don't have any question at this point. Okay, that's cool. That's great. If you got no question, that's great as well. Ash. Um, thanks. Um, I I do want to go back to the deployment slide too just now. Um, and and just just to come to the point that, that the focus for Fort Ninja is at the security side, right? Um, uh, what's put on the table essentially in, in overla overlaying on top of these things coming from uh, Fort Ninja? With regard um, to security. So for us, it's all about the security um, of the identity and the protection of it. But it's not just good enough just to be, to be ending there for it to be reaching critical mass. We need the adoption and the utilization of it. And that's where our strategy is on three things, integrating with the four agencies, JPN, that's where um, the source of truth is, right? That's where our identities are stored. Then it's LHDN and JPJ. From our survey, we also noted that 85% uh, of residents um, the Rakyat asked for those two integrations to take place. And the last bit, Kementerian Pendidikan Malaysia is our long-term strategy growth, where by uh, registering the kid and the, the parents on the schools year on year, that's how we increase the adoption rate. And so the utilization increases dramatically then. Okay. okay. All right, fantastic. Ash, do you want to probe any further? We've got uh, 90 seconds to go. Uh, I'm good at the moment, thanks. Okay. Uh, maybe Great. I'll just add on. Uh, sure. So the last 30 seconds, I think to add on is um, the, the key thing is ecosystem and trust uh, because if someone builds a platform and the agencies don't use it, the right yet don't use it, uh, that's that's going to be the, the faulty part of it. We've been also speaking to a couple of rakyats in different countries as well who are building either NDI or been asked to consent to NDI. So that's the part where we need to be uh, really good at. So part of our strategy is also doing campaigns and really smaller focus groups in different parts of Malaysia as well. So that's our game plan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you very much, Jenna. You look like you're presenting from space, which is cool. <laughs> so thank you, Jenna. Thank you, Fan Ming. Wonderful presentation. And again, you guys, I'm sure, very much uh, passion as always. So well done. Take a good break. And then Thank we're you going very to take much it. for the opportunity. No, no, pleasure indeed. Okay, so just take it easy. Well done.
We're just going to take our final break. But when we come back, it is going to be our final group that we'll present today for the marathon category, My Hackathon 2020. 